Hello! Uh, my desk is a mess, so I'm recording in a different place today. <laughs> I was requested to do an updated flip through video. Not a lot has changed, but um, I'm going to be taking out some of these inserts that I think are superfluous. I figured I'd do a flip through now before I get rid of them all, just so you can see what's in here. Um, I think the last time I did a flip through was probably about, what, a month, two months ago? So that's the reference there. And let's get started. So this is my Filofax Malden pocket size um, in the color stone. Up front in this pocket, I have some change and some stamps, you know, like you do. This pocket has my driver's license and some credit cards. This pocket has uh, my daughter's health insurance card and my library card. And then the back pocket here has Target gift cards. The back back pocket here has um, I think some notes that I took on something that I was doing research on and never like migrated anywhere useful. And then up here, what even is this? Oh look, oh! That's where it is. I knew I had a spare check and then I couldn't find it and it was okay because PayPal was working. Anyway, back pocket has cash. So, we start here. Uh, I keep my pen in the front rings here. I made a new cover page and I used my sprocket printer to make some little prints of the baby. And then um, I know that it's thermal paper. Um, I didn't have any trouble laminating it before, but for whatever reason, this was having a hard time getting really sealed close to the edges of the paper here. And so I ended up having to run it through three times and you can see it starts to kind of turn blue because that's like the color of the paper underneath. So uh, yeah, but it's kind of still the color theme of, so it kind of works. Um, this picture makes me really happy. This one, her face looks kind of blue, which I think is the only problem, but she's so silly. All right, this is February's context list. I have actually migrated everything off that onto March's. Um, so I'm gonna take this out. But this context list, uh, I basically have a column. I actually need to mark these columns. Um, column for different contexts, different places I can be, and then I mark uh, in the column of the task what the context is so that I can uh, quickly see, all right, I'm at home, what can I get done? Like that. Recurring task list, basically things that have to happen once a month. I put the date there, um, or a dot if it just has to happen at some point during the month. Check this off as they get done. This is the same thing kind of every week for my Hogwarts. Um, all of the tests I have to do for my various jobs there. I need to make a new waiting line list because this one's getting kind of full. But I also don't use it very often, so. <laughs> this is my soon definitely list as opposed to the someday maybe list. I think these both need to be tidied up a little bit. There's some stuff I've crossed off here and I can probably get rid of some of these as they're not really goals anymore. So that's the front section is kind of a to-do list. Uh, if I need to find something to do, look in there. First big tab is monthlies. This was uh, New Year's Day at the park, her first time in the little swing. Very cute. February's monthly is all completed and filled out. And yep, I've migrated, I think, everything over onto March's monthly. Check out the plan with me from last week if you want to see me put this together. Then this is my future log from the 2019 yearly bundle um, from Peanuts Planner Co. This is a collection of birthdays, so this is going to stay with me for a long time. Um, I just kind of check this every month to know whose birthdays are coming up. And then the second tab here is for weeklies. Uh, first of all, this is Christmas Eve, and she's a cutie. There's just a lot of pictures of my daughter, so I hope you like that, because I do. Um, I threw this page in here because I wanted a place for it that wasn't like the catch-all collection section. I don't know, whatever, but these are some habits I'm trying to form. I'm eh, eh, not doing great. And then this is sort of a bedtime routine that I'm kind of trying to stick to. I found myself deeply sleep deprived for a while there because I wasn't getting to bed until like midnight a lot of nights. And with the baby waking up in the middle of the night to eat because she was teething and stuff, it was just not a good time. Things have gotten a lot better since I started being really mindful about what time I was going to bed, aiming for 10. 
And uh, yeah, she also has been sleeping better the last couple nights. And then on the other side here, I was doing sort of an analysis of my week. Because, um, like, for example, Wednesdays we have Bible study and so we're out really late. If I try to hold myself to getting the same amount of stuff done every night, then, like, I'm going to just wind up setting myself up for disappointment. So I kind of made a little rough. I'm trying to figure out a schedule. Ideally, I would like to be able to set one night aside to edit videos. Um, and then not have to do that the rest of the night because I feel like there's like this tension between keeping the house tidy and getting my YouTube videos up. Not that you guys are a burden, but maybe a distraction. Um, so one of the things I'm doing to combat that is actually filming myself cleaning. So there's going to be some spring cleaning videos coming up. Um, I actually just finished doing our whole bedroom. Um, so eventually you'll be seeing that. I guess whenever I need a video, I'll edit that together. Um, Anyway, I was looking at my week to try to figure out like what I should dedicate each evening to, um, like when I can clean and when I can edit and stuff like that. I'm thinking Mondays maybe, but again, like I, I only have like an hour every evening between getting the baby down and needing to go to bed myself. So these weeklies I think have been since like January, no, beginning of February. Um, so I do these Alistair weeks and then I use a week on one page here um, to kind of give myself like on here like projects um projects for the week and then tasks that I can assign to a day and then move them forward if I need to so I just kind of have been throwing around a little bit of washi tape and coloring and just sort of a bit of a theme um here's where I didn't actually set this up in advance so I just put it together with whatever I had in my purse same here uh, you'll notice it's the same washi tape because I still had it in my purse and then this bookmark just marks the week. Unless I'm using it as a straight edge. And then this last big tab is for dailies. I get a kick at this. Uh, so sometimes I do these little like structured day per page dailies, you know, having fun with some washi tape and stuff. Sometimes it's just really basic like this where I just put a header. I often uh, use these to keep track of how much I'm pumping and how much she's eating as far as express breast milk. Um, and then I got this really fun day of the week washi tape. I don't know if you can read it on the dots there, but you can see, yeah. And so I'm keeping it in the back pocket here with my others. These are like the sort of emoji washies that I like to try to use sometimes. So I'm keeping a couple uh, weeks worth on here. So I can use those for my headers. So that's fun. And then I also have been stamping the date just because, I don't know, I, I kind of like the way it looks. So, you know, playing around with a little bit of extra washi tape, tried pulling out some stickers, whatever. Um, so here's where I started working on the bedroom. I really don't need this anymore. But that's how I use these jot pads. Um, I basically have been using them as like mini project pages that I can stick wherever. And so sometimes, yeah, here I have like hourly just for the evening. Uh, there we go. <laughs> Moved to sort of a day per page just by necessity. And then I was like, okay, I'll put the whole weekend on one page. But then I decided, no, I'm going to turn the page. And I got these fun stamps from a shop on Etsy called Starving Artist Stamps. Uh, artist Stamps is one word with only one ST. Anyway, I thought I'd try them out and make a list of things that needed to get done today. So I've made some progress. A lot of this is stuff in the bedroom that I was finishing up. So then all of these are my stealth tabs with my fun little dividers. I think I, yes, these were all in the last flip through, so you'll have seen these. This is a rotation of rooms to clean. Um, I was sort of working on like t trying, <laughs> the goal was to tidy one room per week. Um, just sort of a little bit, you know, like keep it tidy and then maybe do one or two deep cleaning things. Uh, and so I started here, and then this was this last week, and I'm like, ah, I'm going to do it. I, like, conmarred the whole bedroom, and I spent, like, an hour per night working on it, and it was exhausting but productive, and I feel really good about my progress. But I think that I'm actually now going to take a few days off before moving on to the nursery, and I'm just going to, like, really deep clean in this order. And then once I come around again, I'll get back to the idea of just sort of a general like focus on that room and do a couple of the deep clean tasks, you know, things that I don't always do, like scrubbing an appliance or dusting the ceiling fan, you know, that like you don't notice in a uh, an evening sweep because 
I'd also like to do just a couple little tidying pickup tasks as part of bedtime. Anyway, this, uh, the idea here is if I only assign myself one project to focus on per week, then I can get it done. So that's what I've been doing okay with. I'm basically just putting one line per week and one task per week and then checking it off when it's done. So those are the um, projects that I put on the side here. You can see master bedroom, check, flip through, working on. All right, um, then yeah, this is a, a miniature project page for the diapers that I'm trying to resell. And then this, I don't think I want in here anymore, um, but it was sort of, in collaboration with, I needed to get it on paper. You know, like sometimes when I feel overwhelmed with projects, I just need to write down all of the tasks related to them. Um, so this is one of those like short term collections that it helped me for like a couple of days get my head on straight, but now I'm not really referring to it. This is a list of library books that are checked out. I started taking the baby to a uh, like story time on Tuesday nights and so we're checking out a couple books. I got one for myself. Um, is anyone else like me? Like, I haven't even touched it. It's already been the three weeks since it was due. I already renewed it, and I still haven't started on it. I don't know. Uh, I'm terrible. It was just it was just some light reading. It's Anyway. Debt tracker and emergency fund tracker. Still, you know, eh, working on them. Same thing that has been in here for forever. Uh, gift ideas are just handy to have. Wish list, I guess, if I ever decide that I... I want to get something for myself. I actually did just get a tripod, and that's what I'm using to film right now. This, in theory, keeps track of how much balance we have on our different gift cards, but I have not been using this, and so it's off. Uh, then this is to binge. It's basically just a list of things I want to see. Um, so I'm working on a few of them. Others I've given up on. Others I've finished. It's, you know, just sort of a running list of stuff that people say is good. And then this is the video I posted on Valentine's Day where I keep track of all the things that I kind of want to talk to my husband about that are more serious issues or, you know, just heavier stuff. And then this is the YouTube section. Um, I still have January sort of calendar here. This is my content calendar for February. So I have all of my, um, this is the same monthly I use uh, up front, if you recognize it. Let's see except on this side, I only have the fold out on one side. That was a mistake originally, but, um, so I just basically, yeah, highlight the days that I have to post a video. Green is for the second channel, the gaming channel. And then I started to check off when they were filmed and then edited just to keep track. And then that's when, that's for March. Uh, and I still have to print out the content calendar for March, but, uh, video ideas. And then these are video notes. Some of these pages I think are full. I stopped using like an entire page per video idea um, and kind of splitting it up. I just need a little bit of space to jot down some ideas sometimes, you know. And then this section is for baby stuff. Um, again, this is the list of stuff that I have to pack when the baby goes to the babysitter so that I don't forget in, when I'm like packing in the early morning or late at night. Um, and then this is the list of, if she ever leaves something there that I want to remember to get back, um, I, I write it here and then cross it off when we get it back. This is where I keep track of who's taking care of her on different days. So that was last year and this is this year. And then on this column, I showed you in my um, milk supply video or whatever it was called, uh, how much milk I have in our stash at the end of the week. I know this number is going to go down when I count tomorrow night because... Uh, I just found out this morning it was devastating that we lost seven ounces on the counter overnight. You know how it goes. Oh my gosh. All right. This is a, I printed out just a list of like the milestones that she should be hitting between six and nine months. And so I'm just checking them off every so often as I see that she hits them. Just, I don't know. It's like uh, achievements, you know. This one has established a reliable sleeping schedule. <laughs> That's how I feel about that. But she's actually been doing pretty good for three nights. Uh, let's see. Oh, yes, a list of questions for the doctor. Good to keep that. I always forget. And then this is sort of a the same thing as my wish list, except stuff for her. And then this is my, yeah, breast milk pumping log. I also need to print out a new one for March. But, you know, I showed this also in that video. 
This is all the stuff from my Hogwarts. So the year calendar, the WizU uh, professor tracker. Um, there's just some notes for different things for my lessons and projects and things. I actually have just started doing this, like crossing it out a little bit when it's done uh, so that I know not to worry about it. Um, also, this needs to be, I think, I need to do something with this because this is an event that happens twice a calendar year. Um, and so what I have on here, I was realizing is not as useful as I'd like because it has actual dates. The dates need to go in the announcements, but I need to know what day it is according to like the school calendar, these. So I think I need to go through and just make a reference one um, that I can keep handy and maybe just keep it on my computer um, so that I have it when I'm setting up this project page for the actual time it happens. Mm, whatever, we'll see. Uh, this section here is for some professional development stuff that if it ever comes to fruition, I'll tell you about. But for now, just, you know, prayers for discernment if you have them. <laughs> these are notes for a game I play. And these are some notes for uh, when I get around to decluttering and organizing the office when that happens. These are some notes for my dresser and nightstand because when you're at home and you're thinking about the stuff you have to do at work, I mean, other way around. I was at work thinking about what I was going to do that evening at home and just wanted to write it down. And then this is the brain dump page. And then I have a couple stickers in here that I barely ever used, some headers that I'm running low on and I don't know if I'll restock or not. I never really use these flowers, but I was able to cut down the, uh, the paper they were on to fit in here. And so it's also a place where I keep spare washi. And then, oh, this is a shopping list. And I need to refill more of these jot notes because that's actually where they go in the back here. And then this pocket really just has the little card with some washi tape on it. And that is everything. So thank you for, uh, if I'm going to get the name wrong. It's like Homeschool Planner Mom, I believe, requested this video. So thank you for the request. I always like not having to think about what to do for a video, so I hope you enjoyed that. And I will see you again for the next one. Whatever that entails, I don't know. <laughs> You'll find out when I do. See you then.